Hello friends, welcome to the Viva Voice of Anatomy. So today I will discuss about the mid societal section of male and the female pelvis. So before that, you should know which one is the male pelvis and which one is the female pelvis. So for that, you have to identify the external genital organ. Like on the left side, here we can see this is the mid societal section. This one is the male pelvis and on the right side is the mid societal section of the female pelvis. So, here in the male pelvis, we can see the pandis. This is the external genital organ. So, this is the mid sagittal section of the male pelvis. And on the other side, here we can see these are the thick skin fold. This one is the labia majora. And this one is the thin mucus fold, is the labia minora. So, this is the mid sagittal section of the female pelvis. First, I will describe about the mid sagittal section of the male pelvis. So, in the male pelvis, anteriorly is the pubic symphysis, this one is the pubic symphysis and most posteriorly is the sacrum and coccyx. So, this is the first sacral vertebra, ok. So, this is the sacrum and here is the coccyx and here is the tip of the coccyx, here is the tip of the coccyx, ok. Just behind the pubic symphysis, we can see the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. Okay. So, here is the, this one is the apex of urinary bladder where we can see the median umbilical ligament, this one. Then, here is the superior surface of urinary bladder. Then, here is the base of urinary bladder, also known as the external trigon. This is the interior of urinary bladder and here is the neck of urinary bladder where there is a beginning of the urethra and this neck of urinary bladder is surrounded by a prostate in case of male. So, this one is the prostate. So, the urethra first passes through the prostate then passes through deep perineal pouch here then enters into the bulb of penis. Here is the bulb of penis then urethra passes through the body of Penis. So, this is the base of urinary bladder, also known as the external trigon, and just behind it, we can see the vas deferens. This is the vas deferens, this one. Okay, so here we can see the vas deferens, and its terminal part, which is dilated. Here we can see the terminal dilated part, is known as the ampulla, and this one is the seminal gland. Later on what happened? The duct of seminal gland unite with the ampulla and to form the ejaculatory duct here. Later on this ejaculatory duct passes through the prostate and finally opens into the prostatic part of the urethra here. Now just behind this seminal gland and the vas deferens we can see one more pelvic visera is the rectum. So this is the rectum. Okay, and this one is the anal canal. Okay, so in the anal canal, we can see clearly are the anal valves. So, these are the anal valves, we can see clearly, and these are the anal columns. Now, just behind the rectum and the anal canal we can see the sacrum and the coccyx. So, most anteriorly is the pubic symphysis and most posteriorly is the sacrum and coccyx. And also in the little pelvic wall, we can see this is the right common iliac artery, this one. This one is the external iliac artery, which is the continuous as a femoral artery along with external iliac vein and here we can see internal iliac artery. This one is the internal iliac artery and here is the obturator nerve. This one is the iliacus muscle and this one is the psoas major muscle. Now what about the peritoneum? So first the peritoneum covers the anterior surface of upper one third and middle one third of rectum to here, then it reflected over the 
superior surface of urinary bladder and to form the recto vesical pouch of peritoneum so here you can see this is the recto vesical pouch of peritoneum now from the superior surface of urinary bladder the peritoneum reflected over the anterior abdominal wall this is all about the mid sagittal section of the male pelvis now i will describe about the mid sagittal section of the female pelvis in the mid sagittal section of female pelvis first we can see the thick skin fold this one is known as the labia majora and this one is the thin mucus fold is known as the labia minora and the space between the two folds of labia minora is known as the vestibule of vagina in which we can see the two openings one is the opening of urethra this one is the opening of urethra and this one is the opening of vagina now most anteriorly we can see the pubic symphysis this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side so most anteriorly is the pubic symphysis this one and most posteriorly is the sacrum and the coccyx so here is the tip of the coccyx this point is the tip of the coccyx now just behind the pubic symphysis we can see the urinary bladder so here we can see interior of the urinary bladder we can see the mucosal folds okay and here is the superior surface of urinary bladder this one then this one is the base of urinary bladder here is the apex of urinary bladder this one this point and this is the neck of urinary bladder where there is a beginning of urethra so this is the female urethra and it is about only 4 cm in length in comparison with the male urethra which is about 15 cm in length now just behind the urinary bladder we can see the uterus this is the uterus and we can see the uterine cavity this is the uterine cavity okay then we can see the cervix here and here i will show you so here you can see the external os this is the external os of the cervix okay and this is the vagina this is the vagina which opens into the vestibule now at the lateral angle of uterus so this is the lateral angle of uterus where there is a attachment of three structure most superiorly is the attachment of fallopian tube this is the fallopian tube okay now antero inferiorly this is the anterior side so antero inferiorly is the attachment of round ligament of uterus and postero inferiorly this is the postero inferiorly is the attachment of ligament of ovary now just behind the uterus and the vagina we can see the rectum this one is the rectum and this is the anal canal now just behind the rectum we can see the sacro coccygeal cow now what about the peritoneum so first the peritoneum covers the anterior surface of upper and the middle one third of rectum up to here then reflected over the posterior fornix of vagina okay so this is the vagina and this is the posterior fornix of vagina so peritoneum reflected over the posterior fornix of vagina means covers the posterior fornix of vagina then cervix and then covers the posterior surface of uterus and to form this pouch known as the recto uterine pouch of douglas or the pouch of douglas this one so you can see clearly pouch of douglas now the peritoneum covers the fundus of uterus this is the fundus of uterus then covers the anterior surface of uterus up to the isthmus now what is isthmus isthmus is the lower constricted part of body of uterus so covers up to the isthmus then reflected over the superior surface of urinary bladder over here and form the one pouch this pouch here is known as the utero vesical pouch then from the superior surface of urinary bladder it is reflected over the anti abdominal 
wall. In the lateral pelvic wall, we can see first this is the ureter which opens into the superior lateral angle of urinary bladder here. Then we can see the left common iliac artery, the left external iliac artery which is continuous as a femoral artery and the left internal iliac artery which gives off so many branches which supply the pelvic viscera. This is the external iliac vein. Then here we can see psoas major muscle, this one and this is the iliacus muscle. So this is all about the mid-sagittal section of male pelvis and the female pelvis. Thank you.